Okay, well, in other words, Keisha said she is remodeling her home right now. It hasn't sunk in yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy that YouTube is hold on, taking the hold action on. that they Can't... said it was going to um, take. You said what? I said I'm glad YouTube has taken the action that they said they were going to take. Right. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm glad YouTube has, has held up their end of the bargain. Now, it shouldn't, have, it shouldn't have went on this long, but hell. I know. I, I think a lot of it was that you had to get yourself together mentally anyway. So, they're saying, um, everyone in the chat is saying, we love you, Keisha. Um, yes, homeowner. Um, check your cash. I love y'all too. I love y'all too. And the higher ups of YouTube said they did see the report. Um, they did message me and let me know that they did see all the reports coming in over the weekend, and at this point, they just could not no longer um, have one channel to monetize. The user just has completed completely broken all protocols and has abused the policy of YouTube. So they do not allow harassment and bullying to take place, especially over the span of a whole year. Yeah, we're 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 over a year now. Yes, for sure. Because this started, this started um, December of 2019. The lie, the whole lot of comes to the internet started in December of 2019, saying that I'm trying to silence small YouTubers, and then parents had parents and sister come online and say, yes. So parents owes me an apology for publicly lying, telling people, telling my supporters, telling family members, friends, and everybody who had ears to listen that Keisha tried to silence Paris in 2017 over a video that I never saw, that I never tried to get removed. And it was really my supporters who saw the video and told Paris that the comments that they were making, that Paris was making about Jeremy was disgusting and calling Jeremy a she and a ma'am, that Paris also tweeted to someone else in 2017 as proof and instead had a whole vendetta and a grudge against me. So in 2020, um, once Paris found out that I that Jeremy had a child outside this relationship, I guess Paris decided I'm going to come back for blood. But I was not the one to silence Paris, or, and I have not even copyright struck Paris. So Paris is getting what Paris deserves, and I'm going to definitely toast up tonight because this is just ridiculous. The children who have been violated throughout this process, it is just disgusting. And the women who have sat back over this last year and a half and have listened to Paris say all these demeaning things about children, call children out of their names, call children and parents out of their names, and just have absolutely no disregard. But now we have to come and, and, and follow around saying that someone is doing something to you. Like, I just have never seen anything like this. I would never want to be in the room with Paris. I would never want to meet Paris. I would never want to have any dealings with Paris. Paris is not my cup of tea. The people who uh, support Paris, you guys should be ashamed of yourselves for sitting back here and not defending a black woman who has been violated, who has been harassed, and who has been lied on. Because everything that Paris stood for was a lie, and I have proof of it. I have receipts of it. Paris told me personally that I never tried to get Paris' channel um, taken down. Personally, Paris told me this, but publicly, Paris said another thing, and that's just shameful. So instead of you tagging other content creators who know about the injustices that have happened to me, you need to be tagging your family members, Paris, tagging your friends, and tagging all the same people that you set up on your platform, calling me a B-word, calling me a hoe, talking about my channel children um mislabeling my boyfriend calling all my businesses all of my businesses have gotten all the, every single report that you guys sent in Paris is going to suffer the consequences in court because Paris decided to go on Paris' platform and say that this is a safe space but we can we can come together and congregate against this one individual so now Paris you're going to take accountability so stop asking for receipts of anything everything that you have allowed on your platform your private platforms and everything in between and then Paris still can't let it go Paris is still trying to make and go over to other platforms and have people pay to talk about me that is disgusting and and have these people with 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 my children's names as your as your username you have called you have told people to call child protective services on on myself and my family I have screenshots I have recorded you don't know who's in your chat 
You don't know who's in your life watching the things you're doing. You don't know who's been in your Discord recording things from the very beginning, sending me evidence. Just because you delete something does not mean it's never said. Just because something was removed doesn't mean I don't have evidence. I have every single video Paris has ever posted on Paris' two platforms. And when Paris was demonetized and given another chance by YouTube to stop harassing me, Paris failed to do so. Instead, Paris wanted to wake up every morning at the top of the day and talk about me. And YouTube has had enough. My supporters have had enough. All the reports that came in over the weekend, all the emails that were sent to the sent in to the support team, everybody has seen that. It is ridiculous how, how long this is, has taken place and enough people have not stood up. They thought this was entertainment. So I guess now who's laughing? Now who's laughing? This is not funny. My children being dis disgustingly talked about. The transgender community should be represented the right way. I support wholeheartedly the transgender community as a member of the LGBTQA community, as an ally to that community. I support everybody. I support everyone having freedom to choose who to love, how they want to identify. But at the end of the day, people will be held accountable if you break the law. And Paris Harley has broken the law over and over again. You should have listened when I told you to save yourself, Paris. All those recorders you wanted to play, all the times you want to harass my family, my friends, my employees, all of those things, those disgusting things you said, all those things are going to come back to bite you. So stop trying to fight YouTube for your channel back. They're not giving you your channel back. You need to hang it up and find something else productive to do with your life. I'm minding the business that pays me. I'm raising my children. I'm remodeling my home. I'm trying. I'm starting an anti-bullying campaign that will be very successful. People will hear my story. You thought you shut me up on YouTube, but guess what? You have paved the way for me to be able to use my voice on bigger platforms. So you stay tuned for that premiere too, Paris. You stay tuned for that premiere because I'm going to tell the entire world what you did to me. I'm going to tell the entire world what you did to my children. And I'm going to also tell the entire world how I gave you month after month opportunity to stop. You have no children, so you will never understand how it feels. But for me to listen to your sister go on your platform last January and say, that girl sent you a cease and desist, and she's disgusting for trying to bully you out of your channel, I want you to explain to everybody, Paris, how that did not happen, how you lied to everybody. It is disgusting. You lied to everybody. I never saw your video, Paris. This all started with you trying to say I silenced um, smaller content creators and all of the other things in between. And that never happened. So when you're telling people I need to apologize, you need to be the one to take accountability. When you try to say I align myself with my friend who you decided to demean and dehumanize and call a dog. You put me and my friend on a leash before you even knew us for real and called us an animal. And now you're hollering that you want to be protected. Now you're saying that things are about to be taken up a notch. Yeah, in court. It is. You should, you should look at yourself in a mirror and, 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 and not like what you see, not because of how you physically look, but what your inner core looks like for real. I don't do enough stuff on YouTube to be having someone making all these videos. Over 300 watch hours, YouTube did start an investigation on you last year, and they escalated me. You keep saying I, I went to talk to someone um, who's now reporting to the higher-ups and third-party people. No, you were so foul and so sick that they escalated me to the top head honcho, and I talked directly to the top head honcho over the whole investigative unit on you, Perry. I, don't, I didn't have to talk to a middleman. As of November, when your channel was demonetized, they, they escalated me up to the, the head honcho. You are disgusting. The things that you say are disgusting. You are colorist. You are sexist. And everything in between. You are filed. And the things that I, the information I have about you from my private investigator. If I was just as disgusting as you, I would come on my platform and let the world know a lot about you because I have it and I have the facts behind it. But my intention was never to degrade or to me demean you or to publicly put you on a chopping block. It was for you to leave me the hell alone, which you did not do. You wanted to go put yourself in my personal business that you tried to befriend someone else to do just that, to try to target me. Now you want to talk about our marketing webinars? Are you are you crazy? Now people
people in your chat want to talk about how they said something positive to me and this, and now they're in your chat saying, no, you are obsessed with me. You're obsessed with the success that I have. So that that your hateful cult-like platform can't do can't do anything but cringe every time something happens for me. Why didn't you talk about the magazine cover, Paris? But as a matter of fact, I don't want you to discuss me at all. I want you to forget I ever existed to you until we have to go to court and you have to pay for what you've done to me. Until then, don't ask for any more conversation with anyone in relationship to me. You are just you're, you're the most disgusting person I've never met in my life. You're the most disgusting person I have never met in my life. I have never had these type of problems with anyone I personally know. You sat online and mocked the fact that I was in a physically abusive relationship and you called my ex-girlfriend everything under the sun ugly and, and all these dehumanizing names to her and mocked me being in a physically abusive relationship. You misinformed your audience. I had that recording and just a few weeks ago you were saying you're going to reach out to her and try to have her talk about me. When people like you are the main reasons why she didn't want to do YouTube, are you crazy? You talked about all these people, all my friends, anybody who's aligned with me, you talk about them in a negative light until it benefits you. Stop asking for the script. You 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 have the script. I have the script. When my attorney reached out to you the first time, you should have told everybody how serious it was. But now consequences are going to be rendered because you did not know how to stop. You did not know how to grow up and be an adult. You did not know how to, I told you, it's one thing to talk about me and I can take but so much. But when you talk about Journey, Jolly, and Jory, and you want to talk about my parenting, and you want to talk about my children, and you want to allow grown adults to call into your life, that's where you fucked up. That's where you fucked up. When you want to know where did I go wrong with this situation, when you decided to bring my children into it, that's where you fucked up. And you did that last January. So you fucked up since last January with me. You've been on my shit list since last January. And I have never publicly spoken out. I continue to just upload my content and do what the heck I, I feel like I need to do positively. And you can't even let me just do that in peace. My children don't even know what the word bully means. So now I'm going to have to explain to them how they were bullied by someone like you in your platform. All the doctors and and, 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 and whoever you got in your lives and, and NICU nurses and people who work with kids and they say they know they love kids so much and you let these disgusting fucks talk about my children. Are you crazy? And you thought consequences weren't going to be rendered to you? And you talked about my friend's son, and you and you want to know exactly why. she You haven't even called her by her name, but you want somebody to respect what you don't even claim to be. You don't even support the community that you're a part of. You don't. At least when I was a lesbian, I supported the community, and I lived in my truth. And when I decided to date men, I lived in my truth then. And a lot of y'all cannot stand the fact that I lived in my truth. A lot of y'all cannot stand the fact that I was honest with what I decided to do with my life. And that's okay. You don't have to support or like something, but you will respect me. I'm a human being. Just because I'm a public figure, a social media influencer, does not mean I'm not entitled to privacy. It does not mean that my children are not entitled to privacy. You got things fucked up if you think just because I upload vlogs, I'm not entitled to privacy. So all the, all the questions you have asked, asked for me, Paris, all of it will be answered in court. All of it. So until then, I'm going to continue with my anti-bullying campaign. I'm going to continue letting my voice be heard. I'm going to continue to be, be a pioneer for other people who are scared to stand up to their bully. Paris Harley, you are my bully, and I'm standing up to you. And you will learn from your mistakes. I hope I'm the last person you decide to bully. You should have thought twice. As nice as I pretend, uh, you all say I pretend to be on my platform. I was genuinely, genuinely being so nice to Paris after you lied on me. You lied on me. And I will never forget the words of your sister coming on your live. So you really sat at the dinner table telling your family that someone bullied you as an excuse to come and do the things you did to me. 
And God told me, I still got to forgive you for this sick mind that you got. God told me, I still got to have forgiveness in my heart for this sick mind that you have. You sat and passed the freaking cornbread at your dinner table and told your family, I bullied you and tried to bully you out of a video. Are you crazy? And that never happened. And now you want to go be the spokesperson of everybody who's anybody. Come to me. I'll help you. Now you're going to get everybody else in effed up situation. Because you all played and laughed around when my attorney came forward and said, leave this girl alone. I don't care what mistakes I've made. I've never done nothing to you, Paris. You have missed led people with wrong information <clears throat> and I will be able to clear my name in, in due time. I promise you that. All the lies, all the things that you have said, all the things you have done will be cleared up. So you thought you were hiding with your, with, with your, with your Keisha haters. Now, because very soon you won't be able to hide under anything. They're going to recognize you wherever you go as a bully. Everywhere you turn your head as a bully, you said when you go into the car dealership, they <laughs> recognize you as a whatever. But now, when you go in a car dealership, they're going to recognize you as a bully. When you go anywhere, you're going to be a bully to people. Because you will not stop, and you wanted to bring children into it, innocent children. You let people talk about these son as if this is a grown man. You all sick and joke about people being molested and violated and, and anything under the sun. And the moment I stick a freaking toe out of place, y'all ready to sit here and tear me down to shreds. How dare you think of something so disgusting to do to a child? How dare you all? And this is not just Paris. This is Paris plus supporters. Because there are some people like Keisha Jones. Who have been a part of this hate from the very beginning. So when you all say, oh, Mystic Alley has, yes, Keisha Jones is one of the number one people on Mystic Alley, and Keisha Jones will be handled as well. The investigation has been going on for a very long time, and I got a lot of evidence against a lot of top people who have made, made it their business. But like Keisha Jones, you are a mother. You are a mother with a child. So I really don't understand for the likes of me, why is it that I blocked you in 2016 for leaving an insensitive comment about my skin? And for the life of me, I don't understand why you have bullied and harassed me. And you have reached out to Jeremy's family as well, reached out to my family, reached out to everybody who's involved with me in any way, shape, or form, reached out to just anything with my name in your mouth, all because I blocked you. I can block who I want on my platform. You all get so freaking crazy with your panties in a bunch over a block. Oh, Keisha doesn't like to hear the truth. Keisha doesn't know. I don't like bullies. I don't like insensitive people. I don't like people trying to tell me what to do when it's not coming off as constructive criticism. And Keisha Jones, you left a very nasty negative comment under my platform in 2016. And I said, bye-bye, you're blocked. And ever since then, you have went and you have played your hands behind the scenes thinking that no one was going to find you or, or thinking nothing was going to happen to you. So you're next. You just you just don't have a public platform like Paris. But I'm speaking to you as well. You're disgusting. The things you have said, the things you have done, you have, you're have a colorist as well. You are a dark-skinned woman and you are a colorist. You all have an issue with color so bad. You all, you, all are, you all live in another world with the way you all relate beauty to the complexion of your skin so if you feel like i'm not beautiful because i'm not yellow neither one of you all are too so that says a lot about your self-esteem so now we're dealing with people who have self-esteem issues coming against a woman and her children for no reason and when my children are born now you all are you are projecting your self-esteem issues because my daughters are a lighter complexion because of their father and now you all are, you all have projected your self-esteem issues, and now you all have a hate for my beautiful daughter. Regardless of whatever skin they are, I love my daughters. I don't care what color they came out. I don't care what color my kids. I don't care if something was wrong with my children. I would embrace it. My daughter's journey is amazing, beautiful soul. Beautiful soul. She has a heart of gold. She would give any one of us the clothes of her back, literally. And it's so sad that my three-year-old daughter has a better heart than you grown, sick adults. My daughter has more care in her heart than you grown, sick adults. And she may not have moved at the pace that you guys wanted her to, but she's going to continue to elevate in life because she has me as her mother that's going to continue to protect her. So speech impediment or not, journey will be great. Jaya will be great. She's already divine.
line. She's already a leader. She's already resilient against anything negative. And she has the most compassionate heart ever. And don't get me started on my little jewelry. That girl is one of a kind. The sweetest, most attached thing that I've ever had in my life. Very smart. I, I feel like she's going to be a baby genius, how smart she is, how articulate she is at the age that she is, how self-sufficient. And my three kids that you got to spend time trying to get removed and put into the system because somebody didn't love you, they didn't love on you enough as a child, I'm not going to put my th- children through anything your parents or whoever raised you put you through. It is really, really disgusting. And like I said, I don't know if I'm more mad at parents and the people who are bullying or the people who follow and support this madness and have convinced themselves in their head that this is right. Octavia, you repost this stuff and you congratulated somebody for something and you are, a, you are a mother. You don't even know me. And once upon a time, you thought parents was going too far and now all of a sudden, because you feel as though you don't like me, you have had the story wrong from the very beginning. It's disgusting. I would never look at you the same. I thought you had a little bit more sense as a mother. Because all of us who are mothers, that we just have, we're just built different. I thought. I thought. And you have looked at this situation, and you 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 all should be ashamed of yourself. Anybody who has rallied behind a campaign, and you have heard the disgusting things parents have said out of parents' mouth. I've never seen this much fixation, this much fixation on one individual on YouTube ever. Yes, other people get hate, but guess what? I've talked to so many people who have larger platforms, and the type of hate, the type of fixation you guys have on me is not the same. For me to be as basic and ugly and all the negative things you all try to put on me, but more importantly, I'm a child of God. And he has given me grace and he has given me the strength to continue to go as hard as this was, as many videos as I had to watch. Because, yes, I had to watch Paris's channel for court and legal purposes. I have to know what my bully is saying verbatim. I can't go based off he said, she said. So legally, when I am making statements and talking to attorneys and talking to the higher superiors of YouTube, I need to know how it directly impacts me. So I don't, I don't misspeak. And I have done that, that due diligence. And I've taken this time over the last six months to watch the things that you have said out of your mouth and to listen and read those comments, the things y'all have said about my kids. Please save your prayers for my kids. I would never want any disgusting being like you praying over my children. Please don't. My children got a great life and I don't need y'all's prayers at all. At all. You all are disgusting. Put a favoritism in a mix of a mother. I was a nanny. And I still have a relationship with every family I knew for. Because why? And these are white families. These are white families. White. These are not black little kids that I was looking at. Over. For hours at a time. Years at a time. No one had a problem with me being a nanny for all those years. But when I become a mother, the main, the main thing to bring me joy, you guys try to strip it away from me so you make up lies in Paris. Like I said, you need to hone into what your mental issues are because there is some. You have some mental issues. No matter what you say, no matter how calm you try to talk now because you don't want to yell at the camera anymore, you have some serious mental issues. Because you started this with a lie. Stop saying someone does things behind the scenes. Stop, especially things that don't have nothing to do with you. I'm the type of person I mind my own business. If something is not directly in, in, uh, uh, impacting me, I don't give it too much attention. And if something is not directly impacting the people who I love, then I don't give it. Why do I give that attention? You are sitting here trying to save the day of all these disgusting things that are being done and videos being made and, and, and people who are having infringes. Uh, like, I've never even struck your channel. So why are you the, why are you the advocate for small channel? Keisha's trying to silence my 
don't, you, I've never even struck your channel. So why are you even talking about what Keisha has done to other people's platforms? The same people's platforms who you set up and you pulled up their criminal records. Toya, it's so disturbing the hate that you all have for me, just like you have for me, when I have never done anything to Latoya. Never, never, never done anything but give grace to her and give her her channel back after she infringed copyright, after she, the things that she's done that I don't need to speak to you guys about. Never done anything. I just mind my business and upload my content. I don't know Toya from a can of paint. But someone who directly did something to her, she was willing to put bygone to the side so that you, they can unite and set a strong hate for one individual. You have way more to relate with me about Toya as a mother. But someone who literally calls you a dog, who calls you Toyota a car, now you're a property to them. They called you a car. They didn't even call you by your name. They didn't even give you respect to call you by your name. But you think that they they deserve more justice than me? It's sick. You can't name one thing I've done to you. Not one thing. Because I bought my kids a lot of things for Christmas? What? So you have more hate for me for buying my kids so much stuff for Christmas, but you have no... I'm not telling you to hate parents, but you have no dislike for an individual who put your public, your re your private record for the, for, on the chopping block for the people to laugh at you, to put your mug shot on the internet for people to laugh at you and tell you that you're not worthy, tell people you're not nothing, and then all of a sudden all things can be forgiven if we decide to hate Keisha together. That is disgusting behavior. And I won't pray for your children because I don't even know you in that regard to give that type of prayers, but what I will say is there is something that just is not connecting. Some people need to just understand like we got to just learn how to let stuff go. I don't know if, if it's an obsession of taking me down, but I'm going to continue to rise above because God has given me that resilience. God has given me that strength. God has given me friends who defend me day in and day out against monsters over the Internet. I don't put everything that has happened to me over the Internet. The things that you guys do to me, the sick things that you all say to me behind the scenes. I don't put that on the internet for you all to even divulge in the information. But Paris, more importantly to you, you need to go back to your family's house and you need to have a conversation with your family and take accountability and say, look, I got into, I, I got, I put myself in too deep with something. This girl did not bully me out of my channel. I called her boyfriend a Miss Ma'am in a video in 2017. Her supporters saw it, and they told me I was wrong, and they told me to take it down, so I privated the video. That's what you need to say to people. I did not strike your videos, parents. I've never struck your videos, parents. So if I really try to silence small creators, why haven't it that I have struck you at one point at all? I had to get legal intervention to get you removed. Because you broke the law. You broke the policies that you signed as a contract as a YouTube partner. And then you signed another YouTube partner agreement a few weeks ago to go back and break the consequences again. I see exactly what type of student you are. I see what type of human being you are, what type of person you are. Furthermore, I see also how disgusting you are. How you just don't realize to say enough is enough. I've taken it too far. It's all about winning. What are you willing? What are you willing to gain? The love and support of the masses, or are you willing to lose your soul in the process? This is some de demonic ass stuff I've seen on this internet behind my boyfriend having a child outside this relationship. It's all the money. You willing to lose your soul? You really like how, how many sermons have you listened to, parents? How many times? That, I don't know what your faith is. I don't know you like that. But what are you really doing with your life? This cannot be what you make your life out to be. You, this, is, this cannot be it for you. You have a story that you can share. You don't have to bully my kids in the process. You don't have to bully D son in the process. You have called D a villain and say that your, your gender has nothing to do with how you talk to people and how you treat people, but her felony has something to do with her coming to defend me. And she didn't defend me against you. She defended me against a lie that was told. Well, you're not even being 
mention, and you decided to target. Your supporters tried to target her. But if she would have came on the internet with the same yelling, the same, well, not even yell, let me change my word, the same passion. If she would have came on the internet with the same passion and said, I was Keisha's former last pick, and I am passionate about this situation, Keisha, this, that, the third is foul, she's wrong, y'all would have embraced her, you would have loved her, you would have championed her, you would have put her on a pedestal. Her criminal background would not have mattered. None of those things would have mattered. If she was on the y'all side, because she had a difference in opinion, supported by facts, then all of a sudden, she's the bad guy. She's a felon. She's this, she's that. Half the people in y'all chat have not amounted to a lot of things. Well, when I have done my research with the legal team, a lot of your family members have went through similar situations. You just said recently that you could call your father. If that's true, then great. But how would you be able to call your father and say, Dad, I chastise a woman for being a felon. So now I think it's okay if you go to work tomorrow, your boss should be able to chastise you just for being a felon. You think that your dad would be okay with that when he has the same type of record? And then you say her dad's criminal record doesn't have anything to do with the things that she does to D, and it does? Because if your family's records don't have nothing to do with it, then my friend's records don't have anything to do with it. You're not, you should not be the only protected entity. And YouTube agrees with that. A lot of people are starting to see that. I haven't done anything specifically to Paris Harley's platform. Nothing. Enough is enough. I've sat here and I've tried with y'all. It's so many people. Y'all don't even know how many people have called, have emailed, have I'm sorry, and just turn around and do the same nasty negative stuff. And I'm one person. I'm one person. You, I don't care how many mistakes I've made. If you go, if I'm gonna hold myself accountable for something, I'm gonna hold myself accountable for something I did. And I'm gonna move on with my life because that's the way life works. I'm not gonna hold on to accountability for the rest of my life. People were just saying, parents apologize for talking about kids or whatever the comment was. But sometimes an apology. It's not how you have to get held accountable. If I go out there and shoot somebody in the head right now, I can't say, well, because I said I'm sorry means that I get to get off the hook. No. So just because parents said sorry, it's too late. Because you took it too far and, you, and, and you're showing people who are sane that you don't care about having a YouTube platform. You don't care about this job. Your only agenda is targeting Keisha, so we can't allow you on this platform anymore. You, We gave you another channel and monetized it, and I sat there and talked to the higher-ups about you as soon as you got monetized, and they said, we're going to wait and we're going to see. And you showed exactly what they wanted to see, that your agenda was never to just be a fair reactor, that you want to target Keisha Kaylee. So you can continue talking to your rep in the small league, and I'm going to keep dealing with my the, the higher-ups in the big league. Because either way it goes, I have enough supported evidence from the people who matter. They're not going to ask you how your comment, how your comment section feels about Keisha when we get to court. They're not going to ask you how your friends and family feel about Keisha when you get to court. But they will ask for hardcore support, hardcore supporting evidence of the things that I'm saying that you're against. So when I'm able to provide witness statements from the people who matter, then don't say, well, I didn't know those things were going on, and those were so long ago, or that was that wasn't really me who did it, or no, I have so many say every time you reach out to a company and your people do it, that is, that is getting added to it. That's getting added to it. I'm taking this as far as it possibly can go because you took it as far as it could possibly go. You're driving me freaking insane with how crazy you are. Over a lie. And I want to continue to say this lie. I can't be on here too much longer. I got to go pick up this food so I can get home. So I will say this one more time. You started this with a lie. Your sister came. And I want to remind you that when Dee reminded you of this lie a few months ago, you came back and said, no, I didn't start my, I didn't start my, my platform because of, you know, Keisha doing something to me. I started it because Keisha lied in the book. Once again, the book you did not read. And we already have established that. I never said those things in the book. But I have the hardcore video evidence of your sister sitting in your on your platform last January 
there with your little fur and you laughing and you flipping your hair and your sister and when I sent you that cease and desist and your sister came on your platform congratulating you for getting 20,000 subscribers and, and your sister said um she yes this girl sent you who fuck her who, who um sent you the cease and desist because she tried to bully my sister off of her platform a few years ago and bully her to take down a video your sister said that so you are a liar because that never happened and it's disgusting that you stuck with that so when you say keisha doesn't take accountability i challenge you you don't have no platform anymore to to, to say anything but you still have you can they see your messages on your instagram you can put on your story i don't care how you gotta post it that, that never happened. Keisha never did ask me to take down a video. Keisha never did see this video. So I was wrong. I just want, just be honest and just say I wanted to go after her. It felt good. I felt like I had a, a group uh, and I and I didn't, and people didn't have to worry about what my gender was. Say that. Say that. I won the Georgia Writing Contest as a senior in high school. I'm a great ass writer. I can write you a great script that you can act out or do whatever you need to do. You need to tell that. Say, I just wanted to talk about her. It felt great for me. This was a place that I didn't have to worry about people weren't wondering how I was born into this world, how I want to identify now. I didn't feel judged. I didn't feel like that's what you need to talk about. Just say the truth. I just wanted to target Keisha. Not because Keisha did anything to me. Not because Keisha did anything to someone I know personally. And I, and then I took it further by going to my family when they asked me questions about it. I told them a lie. And I told my family that this girl tried to bully me out of something uh, for some years ago to rally their support. Your, your family has no idea the lies that you have told and how disgusting you have been. But the world will We'll very much so hear it soon. My anti-bullying campaign is not going to stop. You all can call whoever you want. Spellman is... We're, call Spellman as many, many times as you want. Spellman is already 100% behind me. All they do, every time you all make a phone call, every time you write a message, every time you do something, I'm using it for my anti-bullying campaign. Because that's bullying. It's further bullying. It's further harassing. You're trying to silence me. You all keep saying I'm not successful, so you're trying to stop anything that makes me successful. Success is not defined by whatever you all make it. I'm, I just want to live my life unapologetically. I want to do whatever I want to do on my platform without feeling like people are going to zoom in and, and highlight any type of abnormality or whatever it may, whatever you may feel. I want to, I want to be able to post my children like every other content creator, you may not agree with how I parent, but that does not make me a bad parent. It's a difference. There are people out here I don't agree with how they parent. I don't. I may not. I may say you let your child. When I when I grew up, and I know I'm just so passionate about this situation. When I grew up, my dad was a lot stricter than a lot of other dads. There weren't a lot of my friends in my actual neighborhood. They even had their dad in a home. For one, I had my dad in my home. My dad's still in my life. I grew up with my dad and my mother raising me. But there were a lot of kids who did not grow up. So their parents were a lot, they were overwhelmed. And they let their kids do a lot of things. And kids in my neighborhood would come knock on my door. Hey, can Keisha come outside? And they had their shoes on. They had a bag of chips. They was, you know, whatever. And my dad, no. My kids will be in here. And da, da, da. And my kids can't go and around the neighborhood. And I'm, daddy, Why? I don't agree with how those parents are raising their kids. Is that to say they're a bad parent? Is that to say child protective service should be called on them? No. That just means my dad is going to parent how he wants to, and you're free to parent how you want to. But over here, my children are going to be reading the book. My children are going to be doing what they need to do. My children cannot go and walk around the neighborhood barefoot. There's just different styles of parenting. And there's nothing just extraordinary going on with my my parents' and style that it just needs to be on the chopping block anyways. But all I'm trying to say is the things, the demeaning things you all have tried to use as far as my parenting is concerned has tipped over into crazy deal. And you guys started talking about my children. You called my daughter slow. You told people to call in and drag my kids. You said drag race, drag race that hoe. That's your exact words. Drag race that hoe. Nothing's off limits. 
nothing's off limit. She don't give a fuck about her kids. I don't give a fuck about her kids. When my daughters was in the NICU, I uploaded a video every single day while my daughters in the NICU with me being present. And that still wasn't good enough. You let your people call in talking about she was, I, I work at the hospital. Oh, I know somebody at the hospital. And she was trying to, she, poor Jaya's breathing tube. She was just making up crazy stuff. Just crazy stuff. Just outlandish. And you let these people repeat that and you say that we never talked about her kids. We never did that. We never brought the kid. No, you didn't say no. Kids are off limits. Y'all won't talk about anyone's kids on this platform. Let's keep, let's leave it to their parents. No, you said, I'm not going to do it, but you guys can call, you know, child protective services on her because Jaya looks like this or journey looks like that or whatever it may be. This is sad and pathetic. My daughters are living their best lives, and, have, and here they have to deal with CPS coming into the home. Every time they come in there, they're like, what in the world? Is going, what is going I see so much food on like, on these baby shark tables and this pink high chair. It don't make no sense. They ain't nowhere in the world. They malnourished. You let people you let people talk about my daughter's developmental skills, and I have been very transparent about her speech therapy i sat every fucking day for a year and a half not my mother me i sat in her speech therapy i sat in both of their occupational therapy as a great mother not one meeting well one i had to because i had something very important and jeremy had to do it by himself outside of that i was there i was present i'm always present for my daughter and you and you allow people to call in and talk about my mother but you say that your father is off limit. But before your father was brought into the equation, Perry, before your father was brought into the equation, my mother was a big titty bitch. Before your father, your mother, or anybody related to was brought into the equation, you guys had my mother's mugshot, not even knowing what the hell was going on. You don't ever have to worry about ripping an opportunity away from my mother because I'm, for the rest of my life, going to make sure she's straight. Do you not know that people go and get arrested or have a case and then they are actually innocent of the crime? Do you know about that, Paris and Paris supporters? Do you know how easy it is to lie on a black individual? Do you know how often it is that black people just agree to say, I'll take the charges guilty because they would rather not fight it and spend the money on it if they could just not deal with the headache of defending themselves? But you brought my mother personal information onto YouTube, Paris. You allow people to come in, talk about in your private Discord, Paris. You had not only my mother's mugshot, but you all went to go look for my father and found shit. Then you all went to go look up my um my stepfather. You had my mother's actual home. And this is all going on under your leadership. So just like Trump may not have physically went to the Capitol and raided it, he was the one advising. He was the one that was instructing. He was the mastermind behind it. Somebody has to take accountability. Just because some of the people, just because Adolf Hitler wasn't the one physically doing all the Holocaust and, and the concentration camps himself, he still had people who was anti-Jew who went out and shot any Jew because Adolf Hitler said, we don't like Jews. You get it? I'm a dictator. So Paris, you are a dictator. You chose on your platform to make it about hating Keisha and anybody who hates Keisha is allowed. So do you not get the correlation? Do I got to keep taking y'all back to school when it comes to certain things? Adolf Hitler cannot stand Jews. And because he was a dictator and that's how Germany was ran as a dictatorship, he decided what went. There were some Germans who did not agree with what Adolf Hitler was doing. And guess what? If you did save a Jew during the Holocaust era, you would be killed too. So just like on your channel, if you decide to support Keisha, you will be doxxed too. You will be harassed too. You will be stalked too. You will be bullied too. Your children won't be off limits either. You're a dictator. 
Keisha Kaylee can come and peacefully protest against her. That's what you guys decided to do. For, not, for absolutely no reason at all. Like I said, you stay here and, and mock me being in a physically abusive relationship with Nasia, which was not true, but you sat there with your chest out and said I was in a physically abusive relationship. I was in one before, but Nasia was not the one who was physically abusive to me. But you thought it was her because you're minding other people's business, but furthermore, you lied about it. Should I pull the receipt, Terry? I don't need to do that. You know what I'm talking about. Your supporters know what I'm talking about. Y'all engage with those type of evil conversations on a regular, and very soon the whole world will see the receipt. But for now, you need to understand the things that you've done. You sat there and talked about Naja's facial structure, appearance, and now you got the nerve to say, let's go find Naja to go get some information? How dare you? It's disgusting. Like, you're such a user. You're such a user. Y'all talk about people. Even my neighbor, when she didn't even know what's going on, so she's sitting here saying, well, maybe it could have been Keisha. I don't know what's going on. Like, she's not even, she's oblivious to all of this. And as soon as she cussed y'all out and followed me on Instagram, oh, we'll never allow her. And then y'all start dragging her on Lipstick Alley. She's showing me the things that y'all dragging her now. Because I don't frequent that site. That's a negative. I can never frequent that site. Dee has publicly told, let y'all know she does go to that site and see things that y'all do sometimes. But my neighbor showed me what y'all said about her as soon as she was pro Keisha. It is absolutely, it is beyond disgusting the, the extent of hate that you have went through over this last year and a half period. Beyond disgusting. And as a mother, I have to protect my children. I cannot I cannot do anything about the consequences that are going to be rendered to you. I have to protect my children. Because you have decided to let your platform be a place where people can safely hate my children. Who have done nothing to the world at all. Who wake up innocent and want to live in an innocent world. And don't say, well, you put them on the internet. You did this. I put my children on the internet to embrace motherhood. I didn't put my children on the internet to be picked apart by immature, evil adults and some children. No no parent who is in their right mind would ever agree to sign up and say, I'm going to just sign my, my, my kids up for the highest dollar. I wanted to show my journey of motherhood. I involve my children on my platform so that I can give a testimony of what it's like being an entrepreneur, a mother, and enjoying the process. That's all I want to do with my children. Love my children unconditionally. Show the, the, the different steps of being pregnant, giving birth, just positive things. Because a lot of people are, can relate to those stories. A lot of people can relate to the NICU experience. No one would even want to talk about their NICU experience if they see, wow, when Keisha Kaylee shared her NICU experience, people said that she was trying to cure her kids in the NICU, so I don't want to share mine either. You let people call my child a flathead. You you advise them. You use call of action to call my child flathead and write trash cans under their social media and laugh about it over and over and over again. Those are my kids. Those are my kids. Yes, I did put my children on social media. But guess what? There are still laws to protect us. There are things you still cannot do to people just because you don't like them or you don't like what they're doing over there. Because you don't like how much stuff I buy my kids or whatever the issues you all have with me as a parent. I don't even want to share things I do as a parent anymore. Because why? Why? The moment I share, oh, the girls are doing this, the girls on the play day here, the girls are at this location, guess what? You all will be calling the facility. Y'all will be calling the person's parent. Don't hang out with, 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 that, with those kids anymore. Don't let your kids around those. Every time. Every time. Every time. And they don't want to sit here and say, oh, the girls are not doing anything. No, I don't show anything, everything anymore. I don't share everything anymore because you all make it not fun anymore. You all make it hard that I have to continue to, to give. Hey, so by the way, if somebody, if a troll reach out to you, just ignore them. 
But I'm standing in my truth. You all are not going to bully me into not being able to live my life. You all are not going to bully me to be in silent. You're not going to bully me to suffer in silence. My voice will be heard. I have people who support me. But the number one person I need to support me is God himself. And I'm so grateful for that. And I'm going to continue to stand in my truth and get the real narrative told that needs to be told. And anyone out there, I don't have any hate in my heart. And I'm a very forgiving person because that's the way you need to be so that you don't die of stress and die of a heart attack, worrying about all the negative things. So if you're listening to this and at once upon a time you partook in the negativity and you have a change of heart today and you want to come back and be a supporter of my platform and all things positive, then definitely by all means do so. I don't want to continue to talk about nothing other than the content that I share and just continue to be a positive vessel. That's all I want to do is be a positive vessel. And I have found a way to do it. You have literally bullied me into a way to be a positive vessel for the youth and for anybody else who's been bullied and cannot face their bully. And I'm going to continue to do so. So, D, I thank you so much. And everyone who has supported me, uh, um, if, even if you don't want to call yourself a Mob Squad member, just a human with common sense, even someone who just has a heart, even if you are neutral, you don't really care either way, but you just know what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And what they have done is just completely wrong. I support you. I appreciate you. If you have been one of the people who reached out and sent a notice to YouTube, I appreciate you. If you have been someone to positively pray over me and my family and our safety, I appreciate you. If you have been someone to continuously DM me, I may not respond to every single DM, but I have been looking at my DMs lately over the weekend, my business phone, I get my messages. I am running several businesses. I'm doing other stuff for my family, my daughters. I'm renovating a home. I'm still trying to do so and, <coughs> and just keep my sanity. So I appreciate each and every one of you who just check in, even if you just watch a vlog, even if you just comment and say good morning. I appreciate it. Even if it's as simple as good morning, whatever the comment is, is positive. I really appreciate you because all this negativity can be draining. It can be overwhelming. It can suck the anticipation for life out of you. Like, I thank God for my village because mentally, you all could have drove somebody else who was not as strong as me or who did not have, not even really as strong as me. Because I wouldn't say this was me being strong for a long period of time. I would really honestly say the village that I had around me, the village that stayed united around me, has actually given me the strength. Not because I started off strong and not because I started off weak, but because I started off uncertain and unsure of even what was going on. And the picture that has been painted, I see very clearly now the things that have happened. And I know it's all because of my village. And I want my daughter to have a village. That's why their mother, their their grandmother, their father, and whoever else is a positive aspect in their lives, I allow to be in their lives as much as possible. Because I want my daughters to have a strong, big, huge village. We need more of that. And I, and I pray over you, D, and your sanity, because I know this has probably stressed you out for them to bring your child into this, for them to bring your household into this, and everything under the sun. I know it has to be overwhelming. We've shared tears. We've cried. We laughed. We prayed. We've every single thing over the last course of over a year. And even furthermore, because D has been, this is not just, just because y'all are finding out about D as of last year. D's been in my life since 2016. And seeing a lot of the things that have happened and always said, you need to stand up for yourself. You need to stand up for yourself. And this is the first time where somebody really had a true vendetta, like a crazy Lifetime movie. Every time people see this, they're like, dang, that's like a Lifetime movie. And I'm like, no, this is my life. This is my life. This is my, this ain't no movie. This ain't no stop. I wish this was a movie. So I could say stop to the producers. This is take, this is going too far. No, this is my life. And anybody who's listening to this, I just want you to know that you are loved and there's nothing in this world that you can't do. Do not be ever, be, don't ever be afraid to speak up for yourself, to stand up for yourself. And if you need help, ask for help. If you don't find the strength within yourself, see if someone else can give it to you. And that's why I'm starting my anti-bullying campaign because I, you will very soon have a place where you can go to comfort to be able to vent. And I want to have like an anonymous support group so that people don't have to, you know, share who they are and, you know, 
for people to see how they look so they can anonymously vent. Because I know how hard it may be to stand up for yourself. That's what this anti-bullying campaign is about. Why would you all want to stop something like that? You all can't stop something like that. Never. Never. So, D, I'm going to let you go. I know, like I said, I was, it's been an hour, and I don't want to <laughs> continue to let this go on. Because this is, I can go on for even longer. You already know as much as stuff I've endured. But I'm going to just let you finish the live. Um, yeah, I'm about to go. get up. I'm, I'm going to get off here in a minute because I was live earlier. But, um, you know, I'm glad you got to get everything off your chest or not even everything off your chest because it's a lot. But, girl, from here on out, we I, Paris could go to whatever platform Paris would like to go to. But I'm not talking about this no more. I'm over it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad yeah. that YouTube decided to do what they had to do, girl, because you you went through a lot. And it, this was like a movie like this was like a like a real life like predator just preying on you you know what i'm saying you and yeah. your children so and over it was, a lie over and over mm -hmm. not knowing like and that's the craziest part about it is people always and even youtube they were asking me like do you know this individual like why do you know ask me all these questions and at first they probably thinking i'm boo boo fool because i keep saying i don't know this person i don't know like i have no idea i can't like i don't know where this came from i have no idea like, my attorneys, like, everybody who's been invested or involved legally to help me, they've all wanted to know, like, okay, well, let's get to the bottom of this. Let's da 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 And I'm, I got the same answer to give them. I do not know. This, this is a stranger to me. I do not know them. I, I don't understand. I just know they used to follow me. And then they don't. Then they stop following me. And that's okay. If you unsubscribe, that's okay. But don't uh, bully people, other people to, to unsubscribe and then celebrate somebody else's demise. Who does that? But if I would have ever made one video saying everybody who follows me, stop, stop like if I would have ever did something like Keisha's disgusting, Keisha's so evil, he's just trying to like no. But you all feel like you all want to bully me in peace. That's why you're so upset. That's why you're so riled up because you all wanted to just continue to bully me in peace, continue to laugh and and and, and, and point fingers at anything bad that happens to me. And rally behind, okay, Keisha's on the cover of a magazine. Let's reach out to all the ladies on the magazine and tell them what type of woman Keisha is. They looked at you like y'all was crazy when y'all reached out to them, by the way. They looked at you. We had a women empowerment. This was a women empowerment magazine. Do you really think they were going to let y'all bully me and troll y'all way for me to get that off the magazine cover? I was everything they stood for. Women empowerment. Embracing women. Were a great, embracing success. And you all really tried to bully me up to get zapped from the editor. Like, the magazine was already published, and y'all was still upset. No one wanted to talk about that. For people I don't even know, I've never done anything to. And this whole behind the behind, whole her, high her hands behind the scenes, no one has ever provided any factual evidence of me doing any such thing. And that's not to say that I have been flawless with my YouTube career, because I have not. But I have definitely not been in worse than a lot of other people I've seen do some stuff. And they still, they platform, forget them and keep it pushing. But you all have got this big pent up hate against me for no reason. And Paris was finally y'all safe space. Like, like Paris said, this is a safe space for y'all to come. And that's why I'm on the topic of conversation every day. Because you all can't wait to wake up and see what Keisha has done next. What can we stop from Keisha next? What can we see about her kids next? We're going to keep talking about her kids to make her take her kids off there. We're going to keep saying this to her friends so she won't have no friends. You are really trying to tell another content creator who I have been friends with. I don't talk about my friendships. I'm friends with a lot of content creators. Jayla just saw that post and decided to publicly say something. She wasn't going to randomly, on a random Saturday, just randomly make a stand. I want to uh, even think that would happen. But here y'all are. Something, like you said, something that has nothing to do with the business. You said that your identity, your gender has nothing to do with anything. Jayla supporting me has nothing to do with you. But yet, Jayla should hear the truth. We should come after Jayla, and we should make her scared to support Keisha. How sick are y'all? All because someone said, I, I know what bullying is like happening. I, like I said, first of all, I think y'all are deaf and blind to the bullying that y'all do, and I think y'all have Y'all think that's not bullying or something? But other normal people see that as bullying. And other people are disgusted. Because one day, Jayla wants to become a mother. 
And she would not like if someone did that to her kids. With no just excuse. Because if your rationale, like you said to your sister, when you hit your 20,000 sus- subscribers, 20,000 subscribers, you said it was because Keisha bullied you out of something. So you felt so passionate about bullying that you decided the best reaction was to bully her back. But the answer to that is Keisha actually did not bully you. You have no proof of that. And you admitted that to me. And I have the voice recording of you admitting that to me. And not only that, but I went into YouTube to make sure they pulled the video to see that it was private and to pull the comment of it to see I never commented. People make fake accounts or say they're me all the time. And I mean, somebody made a fake Instagram and was messaging Jeremy, and he come asking me stuff like, oh, look at that. They kind of cropped the picture a little wrong, and they use a picture. That's not even me. Just making, just doing stuff outlandish for no reason. But it has to stop. We got to protect the kids. If you're listening to this, you we got to protect the kids. We got to unite together. We got to protect our children. We have to protect them. We need to groom our children to be the leaders of our future. Our country right now is going through so much turmoil, and we're worrying about what Keisha Kaylee is doing on a regular day. We need to be worrying about who we're going to elect as our next president or what 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 um what policies we want to vote into law for our specific state or our country. We need to be doing research on these wars and, and what does that mean for us? We're like, do you all not see these gas prices not just going up for anything? These Store prices for food are not just going up for anything, and yet the only focus still is me. You all are going to wake up, and the whole world is going to go fucking boom, and y'all is so stuck with y'all head up my behind that you're going to miss it. It's going to be just gone, and you ain't even going to know what happened because you're so worried about hating me. There's no reason to hate someone. These son did not do anything for anyone to, to bring him into this. My children did not do anything for anyone to... to, to, to dehumanize them as well and call them little animals and all the other things I've sent to me behind being a supporter of Paris even if it wasn't Paris, Paris self who messaged me those things because you are an ally of Paris you feel like this is okay so this is your representation for the transgender community that these are the types of things you stand for and that's not cool no one is against you being transgender. We embrace it. We support it. We uplift you. We're going to champion you. If that's what you want to um, identify as, great. I'm, I'm glad you're able, but don't use the community when it's something you try to get your stuff out of. Use that community to the fullest positive level. Use it to share your story. Use it to inspire other people who are going through that same thing. Don't use it when you're trying to get out of breaking the law or bullying someone and say, well, because I am this and I identify as that, I should be cut slack. No, it doesn't work like that. I can't say just because I'm a mother means that if I I, I go and knock somebody upside their head, oh, I'm a mother. I'm a mother, though. I'm a mother. I'm a mother. You must have a thing against mothers. You must have a thing against women. You see how crazy that sounds? Like, no, that's not cool. Whew, this is just... It's been a lot. I know y'all probably tired of my mouth, so I'm going to let y'all go. Girl. <laughs> no, they actually... No, they actually... Um, when you come back and look at the comments later, uh, if you come back and look at the live, they definitely have a lot of um, a lot to say in the comments. A lot of people are excited about Paris being gone, um, you being strong. They said Russia is wilding. <laughs> oh, they are Russia. Look at how this how they treat their own kind. And that's what my neighbor was saying too. 
Like, how you see it coming? Me talking about this is a place of women empowerment, and I'm reading the stuff that y'all are saying about this girl. Yes, the neighbor did say that she was a white woman. She did say that, Keisha. I saw her when she um, I saw the post when she when she was in there. She was saying like, I thought y'all supposed to be um uplifting black women. I don't see none of that in here. And she was a lipstick alley. I said, oh, okay, neighbor. Yep. And she showed it to me, and she said, when I came in there and I was, and they thought I was against you, they was all happy in my DMs. But the moment you know I I wasn't against you, or they felt like I wasn't against you, then it was all about. Oh, this is a place of white empower. I mean, um, empowerment. This is a place of empower black women. And they were like, I don't. This whole girl thread. She's a black woman. She's a black woman. And this whole girl thread is ripping her to pieces. She said, "Girl, I would never go in there if I was you." Yeah. Because I don't know. I don't know. She she told me I don't know if you've seen the things they said about you lately, but I was literally disgusted. Like I was the mother of your kids. And then y'all want to turn around and say, "Oh, we don't talk about kids over here." Y'all, yes, y'all do. Yes, y'all do. It's disgusting. Instead of saying, oh, I hope, you know, Journey Journey got it. But like I said, I don't know if you guys, okay, I'm going to stop talking. But the last thing I want to say is, <laughs> y'all go look up the chat wing. C-H-A-T-W-I-N-S. They're a family. They're a, uh, our counterpart. And they are, uh, they have triplets. I don't know if y'all have ever seen them. But they have triplets. They have two girls and one boy. And then I think they just had a new baby boy, and then they already had an older girl at this point. Ooh, they've been growing. But anyways, when I first, when I started sharing my pregnancy journey, being pregnant with the twins, they had just started their YouTube channel sharing their pregnancy journey with um, triplets. And look at their, look at their um, comments. Now, their content is really good. I love how high tech and all that stuff. But anyways, I had stopped watching them for a little bit because I just have been super busy. And I Turn randomly down, went to their channel a few months ago. Turn it down, son. And y'all probably have to scan through and see that title of the video. But it was something to the extent of something was wrong with the, the, the boy's speech. He's not speaking as much as his other twin or triplet sisters. Um, and when I looked at that comment, I was scared. When I saw they were talking about that, I was so scared. I was like, oh, my God, they're about to tear them in shreds. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. I went to that comment, their whole community. It was just not disgusting for, you know, for the support. But I was disgusted for myself that I saw someone going through the same thing and and their kids weren't even premature. I think they came home. If y'all look at their story, y'all would see, don't quote me. But that my daughters was in the NICU for two and a half months. Their babies was in the NICU for, I want to say, at most seven days. At most seven days, their kids were in the NICU. And I, I'm almost certain that they almost went full term with her triplets. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is her community stood by and supported her son not being on the same speech level. I didn't see anyone saying you all are bad parents. I didn't see anyone saying that you should be ashamed of yourself. He's, he's dumb. He's slow. He'll never amount to anything. I didn't see anybody saying, oh, that's why they favored the girl. I didn't see anything like that. And I was like, wow, this is a completely different feeling than with my daughter, my twin. My community is chastising me, shunning me, disowning me. Because of something out of my fucking control. Something out of my fucking control. People are bullying me about it and and, 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 and mishandling my daughter and her development. Saying I'm in denial. They, I didn't see not one person say, oh, I, I, I'm a specialist and he must be autistic. Or he must, and if he ends up being something, that's not our concern either. Then I'm pretty sure there's still rally behind her. But I didn't see anyone trying to misdiagnose him. They're going to wait for the parents to say if something is going on. But my community, the community I love and will go to war for, the community I embrace and am proud to be a part of, decided some members, not all, but some members of my own community couldn't even do that for me, couldn't even give me and my children grace. For something out of my control, I did not think I was going to go into labor December 28th. I just told the doctor, I'm going home. I'm going home. I tried to pack my stuff up at 11 a.m. that day and say, I'm going home. And no one gave that type of grace to me. For me to see that, I was like, and I'm talking about hundreds of comments. I don't know how many comments it is at this point, but it was hundreds of comments supporting supporting his his um, his development. And he could probably be speaking great right now. I don't know. I know they said they were going to see a specialist. They didn't call him dumb. They didn't, try, they didn't do any of those things. And that's the only thing I asked for, which is give me some grace. Give some grace. My daughter, Jory, was taken out of my belly because the doctors wanted her.
her to come early. Not because Keisha did anything to make her come early. So her head was not even fully developed. She was not full time, fully developed. So her skull was even softer. The baby's skull is one of the most fragile aspects. When you are a mother, you understand that. So you have to treat them very carefully. Any wrong move, anything can happen to your baby's brain. And my daughter, who was properly being taken care of, who slept it on her back to prevent sin from happening, who was, was nourished properly from her mother's breast by a means of breastfeeding. And her skull was very, very soft and sensitive. So as she slept as a newborn does, her, her skull flattened mildly. And she needed it to be corrected. But when I go to my counterparts platforms and I look up the same thing Jory had, I see people, oh, I went through the same thing. Oh, my cousin, my aunt, my whoever. I didn't see anyone saying, you're a bad mother. You left your child on, on their back and this is what comes with, with this. I didn't see none of that. So how do you think that makes me feel, parents, when you have your audience going online to say things like that about my kids and you don't even know. You're misinformed. You're not a parent and you're most certainly not a mother and then you want me to respect you as what you want to be considered to be and that is perfectly fine. I will do that. But if you want me to respect that, you need to respect my, my journey as a parent and the strife I went through as a mother to bring my children into this world and to love and to care and to parent them unconditionally to any means. I got my child's head corrected and now she is literally soaring. Literally, not figuratively. She's flying from bed to bed. <laughs> but you all do not care about protecting our black kids. We have to do better at protecting our black kids like the white people protect their kids. These white kids are protected by each other. If they were to look at our comment section, they would say, see, look at these, whatever they, I don't even want to put that on everybody because I still want to believe in my heart that people can change and be better. And, I'm all, and I don't believe all white people are racist. I would never pass all white people as racist. But it is a beautiful thing when I go to white people's platform or even some other black people or any other influencer's platform with Mexican or Chinese or whatever it may be, or Asian is the proper word, Asian, whoever, African-American even, and I see people embracing them as a community. If you support somebody and you subscribe to them, then you should truly and wholeheartedly support them. Not not, so not sign up, because what the parents say, I only, people only watch for the for the um, train wreck that she is. How do you, like, train wreck that my kids, like, prematurely born? Like, that is, like, God forbid, you're, you have... You have two natural born sisters who are one day, if they want to be mothers, may have a premature child or who may deal with some of those things. And then maybe you will have a firsthand experience of how that works. And some things as a parent are out of your control. You don't bully someone else because of it. You don't allow people to call in and bully them because of it or threaten to harm me when they see me in Target. It's just so many things have been so, and all I said was, if you don't like everything I do, okay, I can't make everyone like me. I can't silence this. You don't know how many videos it is about me on YouTube talking about I try to bully small content creators. Please. If I could do that, then I would, with a zap of a finger, make it happen. But obviously, I cannot mess with people's First Amendment right of freedom of speech. I can't, and that's not my goal. I ask to be respected. And when, it, and when it comes into a point where it's compromised or disrespected, then I have to take action. And half the time, I don't even see all the videos. That's not, I don't choose to divulge myself into hey, Keisha videos or did you see what Keisha did now? Or let's talk about, let's talk about her hair. Or, let's talk about this. Or let's talk about her man not love her. Whatever those type of things you all partake in, I don't like to watch those types of things. But if it does get brought to my attention, then it is within my right to protect myself. And that's all I, and, and, and everybody does not protect their children in the same way, and I'm going to leave it like that. So don't, I protect my kids one way, and D may protect her son another way. And as parents, we're, it's our choice of how we want to do that. You don't get to bully our kids and chastise our kids and then choose how we get to respond when protecting. Because somebody else out here, out here in these ATL hood streets, they may use another type of method of protecting their kids. You just never know who you're running into. Let's just be a prime example of don't play with people's kids. And treat other people how we would like to be treated. Respect other people's life choices. Just like you want us to respect your life choice and what you identify with, respect my life choice and how I want to live my life. Regardless of who I choose to date, you don't
don't have to agree with who I choose to date. You don't even have to like who I choose to date. But you should still respect that that's the choice I made. That's just, it, and it is what it is at this point. But I'm gonna I'm gonna um read the comments when I get home. <clears throat> and like I said, I do appreciate you D once again. I wanna publicly say I do appreciate I don't watch every live and I dang sure not to, don't call D and say D do this. D I didn't know she was even live when she just called me. I thought she was doing what she told me she was about to do before we even got the phone earlier. <laughs> and I was <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you did do it. No, I am. Oh, you're gonna do it, okay. But yeah, I don't know everything and like I said, how I just how I protect myself and how I defend myself. Other people may not handle their their family and, and their safety that same way. And you have to just respect and understand that. And and that's just that. You that's just that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off. I didn't make it to my destination. Um, well, I'm glad we could keep you company, girl. <laughs> yes, I appreciate y'all. And I love y'all, but I'm going I'm to tune into the chat a little bit later. This is definitely a victory for, and I, this is not just a victory for myself. Like I said today to Jeremy, I said this is a victory for our family because more importantly than anything, those disgusting videos, all those comments, there is not a place that people can come and read those disgusting comments and judge my children like that. It, it, there's not that place anymore. More than anything else, my children, I'm so happy that there's not, uh, even though I still have the videos, but there's still not a place where people can come in and, and talk about it and make fun of and everything like that. And once again, I did not try to get nobody's channel removed. It's when it's, I did not get to Paris' channel. I did not comment to Paris. I did never message Paris. In fact, Paris messaged me about a, a what was it? A dang old MacBook. Um, MacBook during that time period. I did not, I never tried to get Paris' channel removed. Then I, I never even seen a video in question. But I appreciate you, and I'm going to let, let y'all go. All right. I appreciate you, too, girl. But, yeah, I'm about to get off here in a minute, too. But thanks for calling in. I hope, did Keisha get your, did Keisha get your home from work? 